Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is part four of my tidbits and review series where I'm just giving my first impressions on a lot of information that's come out on the new 2022 fall line from Mega Constructs. Today's episode, we're looking at Scorpion Clash. In the previous one, we looked at Red Team Charge, Dose of Requiem, and Halo Heroes Series 16. Mega's updated their website as well as Target updated about Series 16, and they've given us a lot of new information. I've downloaded all the images. I've screen grabbed some of the pictures from the instruction manual, and I'm gonna give my first honest opinions on this set followed by all the images and this video will be a bit shorter than usual because I'm on holiday in Croatia right now. So, well not right now, I'm recording in my room right now but uh, as the time of this uh, video releases. So, um, first of all, Scorpion Clash has taken me by surprise. Um, I don't know if you guys remembered, uh, it was probably the set that I was least hyped about when the full lineup came out and a lot of people say, Simon, what are you talking about? This is the best Scorpion ever made and you're absolutely right. But uh, I have a lot of scorpions. I got so many scorpions. I got like five of the desert ones, probably. I've got a couple of the only ones as well. I'm not as hyped as most people about scorpions. This one, I mean, it looks great. We've got that uh, elite warlord, though. Like, why did you not just call it Chaklock? I really don't know. And we've got an official Spartan Stone. And you know, it's it's taken me by surprise this set because the alt build is uh, is really something else. And I think Mega. Uh, clearly Mega uh, are in love with alt builds, right? They've been doing uh, micro builds with the blind bags. They've been doing alt builds for the past year and a half, maybe two years, and they've been getting really good at it. Clearly they've been improving a lot. This is the first set that uh, I've seen the instruction manual on a really big alt build. Obviously the red team charge has an alt build, but it's literally just, uh, it's still a creative one, but it's the turret switching around with the warthog front face and, and chain gun. Um, and that's really great, but this is a proper alt build. And when you look at the instruction manual, they've gone to a crazy, crazy amount of detail here, like a crazy extent to make this a dope build. To the point that I probably will get two of these for this alt build. And that's the first uh, set that I've said that. You know, I, I like all the alt builds and uh, I certainly want the Razorback alt build and um, a couple of others, but this one is clearly a cut above the rest, mainly because uh, you click together that little um, artillery cannon, which looks amazing. They've used the caterpillar tracks and then the helicopter's great, uh, some kind of propeller based propulsion based uh, copter plane thing. But the fact that they clip together uh, and can fly through the air is really dope. I I'm, I'm impressed by it. I'm really impressed by it. Shame we've only got one hunter with this set. Oh wait, no we don't. We have to have, we, we have two hunters. It's really great. Two hunters in one set is like one of the best examples I think of Mega listening to the community. They've released a lot of sets recently with hunters. Every time we've said Mega, you can't just release one hunter with a pelican because we're never gonna get a second pelican unless you're Noble Six Original. But yeah, two hunters with the Scorpion Clash. Also the packaging, I've given a lot of my thoughts on the packaging in the Ghost of Requiem and Red Team Charge videos. I think this one doesn't pop as much for me, but it's still really good. The character profiles aren't on the front, but they are on the other sets. So I think it's missing that. But I love the purple mega banner at the top and i think in general like i said uh nobody or like less than maybe like less than three percent of mcx uh fans keep the packaging i'd love you to let me know in the comments down below do you actually keep the packaging that would be good intel for me to have but yeah most people don't i think and uh really it's just to sell toys a green scorpion with colorful figures pops out of that gray and blue so well. I think it's gonna sell more toys. I think Mega's gonna make more money. I think they're gonna release more sets. So it's all in our best interest. But yeah, I'll uh, roll on with the images from this video. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for tuning in today. We also have this really cool uh, build bigger battles uh, showing off the new helmet with Gungu's Gambit, the Banished Phantom, and even a Sentinel from the Blind Bags Halo Infinite Series 4. So really dope. Uh, yeah, you sh uh, shout out to you all. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And I'll see you next time. Make sure to check out my other thoughts and opinions on the previous releases or the previous information on Mega's website. And I'll see you next time. Domain signing off.
Huge shout out to my patrons. These are my Billy Gang members and you guys are supporting me so much right now. We also have our first Honor Guard member. Congratulations, welcome to the squad. And the biggest shout out to Spartan Dagger, Chonky Chief and Patches OJO. They're my Arbiter patrons and your names are going down in history. You truly are helping me out so much, guys. See you next time, Spartans.